Yo, what's going on guys? It's Omega Techie here. In today's video, I'm here to talk to you guys about five things that you should always keep in your car. Now, I know this video is a little bit different from what I've normally been doing on my channel lately. I kind of just want to take a break from the engine build. I got a couple things coming in the mail. They're not here yet. Uh, like I said, I sent my engine block out. If you guys saw that video, should be here next week. And once I get it back, we will continue those videos. But anyways, like I said, in today's video, I'm here to talk to you guys about five things that you should keep in your car. Now, this excludes the basic stuff that you already have in your car such as a spare tire the jack and everything like that i kind of just wanted to knock that out of the way because everybody basically already has that in their car one thing i do know is some people don't actually keep their spare tire pumped up so you might want to check that but that's you know that's kind of not what i wanted to put in this video today what i wanted to put in this video is stuff to have in your car just in case you get stranded your car breaks down or you get in a car crash so now starting us off with number one is a portable charger so i keep this in my car as you can see it is fully charged and when it does uh, become uncharged I just charge it overnight bring it back in my car but anyways yeah so this one's made by Lumina uh, I forget what the amperage is 10,000 ma whatever that means uh, it stays charged for quite a while it goes through probably two or three full phone charges before I have to recharge it so that's good I always keep this in my car I actually saw on Amazon they sell one that is a solar charger so even if it is not charged up you can put it out in the sun and it charges your phone free now it's no help at nighttime but you know it's still good if you get stranded during the day without your phone now it's happened to me multiple times where i'm trying to reach someone like my parents my friends uh my brother and my phone just dies and i can't charge it because sometimes my car charger doesn't work unless my phone is actually on and just has a low battery so that's definitely saved me and especially if your car breaks down your battery doesn't work or something like that and your phone dies you'll have something to charge up your phone and you won't be completely stranded so it definitely is a very useful thing i haven't been stranded but there has been times where i had to use it to get a hold of someone in my family now moving on into number two here is just some basic hand tools now i always have a toolbox in here because i'm always you know going to the junkyard trying to find parts for my car and stuff like that but it is pretty useful to just keep it in your car just in case you know something jiggles loose while driving you can real quick tighten it back up or something falls off your car you could easily fix it because you have the tools to do it now moving on into number three is a knife that has a little window breaker and one that could cut the seatbelt. now these are very useful because if you get in a car crash something gets stuck on your seatbelt, you're stuck you could quickly cut it now this one right here actually doesn't have the actual one that could cut your seatbelt. I have it somewhere in here. I seriously cannot find it. It might actually be in my toolbox. I didn't look there. But this one has the window breaker. It has a nice little thing on the back. So you could easily break the window if you have to, to crawl out. Now, this blade right here is probably sharp enough just to cut the seatbelt, but I probably will try to go and find the other one because the other one makes it a lot easier. All you have to do is swipe down and it cuts the seatbelt. Now this, you might cut yourself trying to do it. And the other one, the blade is completely like internal so you can't cut yourself on it and it basically just slices the seatbelt but it is very useful because if you're gonna crash something gets stuck on your seatbelt you can't unclick it you have to cut the seatbelt your car is on fire uh you have to you know roll down the window it doesn't roll down you break the window and you crawl out and hopefully you'll be safe so i try to keep this somewhere where if i do get in a car crash it's not like in the back of the car i have to reach for it it's somewhere where i could actually reach for it now i used to have it just on here but it didn't really stay too well so i usually just keep it in this little side pouch over here and it usually does stay pretty well so definitely a very useful item and it could just save your life so now moving on it's number four here we have a flashlight now this is useful for many things say you can't find Find something in your car none of your dome lights work you could use a flashlight look around uh say you have to fix something up front open the hood you got a flashlight you can see what's going on your car breaks down you could see what's going on and also i like this one because it actually has a strobe effect so if you're broken down on the side of the road you're changing a tire and you want people to see you you just put the strobe effect on you put it on top of your car and the incoming cars will see the strobe and hopefully they will not hit you so definitely something that you should keep in your car and definitely something that has a lot of uses for it now moving on to the fifth and final one here are jumper cables or a jumper box now the jumper box definitely is a little more useful because if you are broken down there's nobody else on the road you could jump your car by yourself now jumper cables are also useful too because if somebody else is broken down they don't have anything like that you could hook the cables up to your car hook them up to their car jump their car for them and then they're on their way so now when i was with my friend we actually saw these people they were broken down in the middle of an intersection very dangerous and i stopped and i said i asked them if they needed to 
of some help. They said their car need, was broken down, they needed a jump. So hopped out, grabbed my jumper cables and gave them a jump and then they got out of there safely. So they definitely are useful and I do think everybody should have a pair of jumper cables in their car. But anyways guys, that is it for this video. That's five things that I think you should always keep in your car. Like I said, a little bit of a different video for you guys today, but we will continue the engine build later this week once I get my block back. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out guys.